Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulin with 31 Triple Doppler. You know, usually red is the color of warning, but this is not a warning day at all. <laughs> it's not, no. Today is looking pretty good, and tomorrow we officially welcome fall. So you're just rocking red the I day am. before fall. Yeah, it's a whole mood today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and dive into this forecast for your Friday. Here's a look at our Way 31 Skycam network, and things are nice and comfortable to start you out for this last day of your work week or your school week. Temperatures so far in those upper 50s, low 60s across the Tennessee Valley, so you can't beat that. And like I said, fall officially starts tomorrow, so I am ready for some cooler weather. It's not going to be cool tomorrow, though. We'll get to that in a little bit. But right now, 31 triple Doppler, quiet and dry to start you out on this Friday. We saw a few showers early yesterday morning, but we don't have to worry about any rain today. This is what we have going on across the southeast. We do have a piece of energy off to our west. And that's where it's going to stay for the rest of the day today. The high pressure is still in control of our weather, and it's going to stay like that as we move into the weekend. But then changes will be back as we head into next week. Temperature wise across the Tennessee Valley right now, we're in those upper 50s, low 60s, 61 right now in Huntsville. It's 59 in Gunnersville and Scottsboro, 55 in Fort Payne, 57 in Decatur this morning. But as we head into the afternoon hours, this is where we're headed in Sand Mountain. We'll be looking at those low to middle 80s, a little warmer in the metro. We'll make it up into those middle 80s for afternoon highs and taking you out to the shoals, middle to upper 80s for those afternoon highs today. So it's still nice and comfortable. And like I said, no rain chances. So if you're headed out to a football game, it's looking good. Here's what we're expecting as we move into the afternoon hours. We'll see that sunshine for your Friday. And as we move into the evening hours tonight, no problems for those games. We're staying quiet during the overnight hours. Quiet to start you off on Saturday. Any plans you may have for Saturday afternoon? You're not going to have to worry about any rain for that because we are going to be seeing the sunshine and it's going to be a warm start to fall. And if you are headed out to a big game on this Friday, we're going to be staying dry. Dry temperatures falling into those 70s as the sun sets this evening. Looking ahead to your weekend, Saturday, that first official day of fall is not going to be feeling like fall at all. 88 for your afternoon high tomorrow, 86 on Sunday, so a little cooler. But the good news is the rain will hold off until next week. So this is what we have going on at the start of next week. So for us in the Tennessee Valley, we're kind of sandwiched in between two weather systems. So we have potential cyclone 16 and that will be making its way up the east coast. But to our west, we have a cold front that will start to push towards the Tennessee Valley. But as it does so, it will start to fall apart. And what's left of that will bring us some rain chances as we head into next week. So changes are not far away as we move into the next 10 days. Days, but enjoy today and then again tomorrow and the Huntsville City FC, their last game of the season. That's on Sunday, so you have the next three days to enjoy the nice dry weather before the rain chances come back next week. But at this point, we need the rain. We do need the rain. Things are getting pretty dry at my oh, yeah. house. But I will say, though, it, it's hard to believe we are now actually able to say tomorrow is the first day of fall. Where has this year went? It, it, well, it's gone pretty much now. <laughs> yeah. Christmas will be here before you know it, and you're dressed for it. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, this morning.